All right, I hope you're ready because it is officially the second week of the OG FFL playoffs. That's right, it is the semifinals of the championship bracket and the semifinals of the consolation bracket for our draft picks. And, but maybe most importantly, it is our finals for the Toilet Bowl Award. But first things first, welcome to your OG FFL Week 2 Now Playoff Video Show. I am, of course, your host, your commissioner, but most importantly, your current champion, Mr. Robert Triana. Welcome, everybody. So, first things first, we got to say congratulations to the people who move on, just like I said. Oh, no, I said Miguel's going to win, but Andrew, congratulations, your defeat over Miguel. And Richard Mark, congratulations, your defeat over Joe. Now, I got to say, it was a very, very disappointing week in fantasy wise scoring, but. I do have to say this, so congratulations you guys, uh, to myself, and of course you got to say, uh, not to myself, congratulations to Richard, Mark, and Andrew moving on to the semifinals, but i got to say congratulations to George, and then i got to say congratulations to Ed, probably the most the uh, important person we all want to say congratulations to, because for now, I think now this is now two years in a row, he was Toilet Bowl Trophy winner, he is not going to win the Toilet Tro Bowl Trophy this year, congratulations to Ed, you did finish in last place. Woo! But I do have to get to myself here in George's matchup. So, as we all noticed, I had Blau Powell on my bench. Last second decisions, I had Blau Powell um, in my starting lineup, and I had Ladarius Green in my starting lineup. Well, last second took Jordan Reed. I, when I heard Jordan Reed was in, I put him in. When I heard Ryan Matthews was in, I put him in. The difference, now listen, Whatever, I'm going to play Jordan Reed over Ladarius Green. It said he was going to play. I'm going to play him. I don't care about that move. My big move was all week I was saying, Bilal Powell has a chance. He's going to break out. Blah, 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 in my head. But then I'm like, you know what? He hasn't. He stunk. Ryan Matthews is in there. Experts have him top two, top 24 running back coming back. He gets a Redskins defense that's allowed a touchdown to a running back in like four consecutive weeks, something like that. Like, you know what? Got to play Ryan Matthews. Well, if I had Bilal Powell in instead of Ryan Matthews, I still would have lost to George. But it would have been a lot more heartbreaking because it would have been based on percentage points than if I, without having Bilal Powell in. So it made my Sunday or, and my Monday night a hell of a lot easier to watch and handle than if I were to lose my percentage points Monday night. I would have been very, very upset. and would have just put my whole season in perspective into one game. But I move on. So the Toilet Bowl Trophy showdown between me and Ramazan, which is basically exactly what I said, which what it, which is what it should be, because I was in 12th place, Ramazan was in 11th, so so that's what it's going to be. But we'll get to that matchup later on. So we got to say, congrats, we'll look at the matchups back and forth. As we said, it was a very very disappointing week. Um, Richard Mark won 76.36 to Joe's 72.2. Um, not a lot to say here. Joe had did bench DeMarco Murray for because he was playing the Denver defense and played Rashad Jennings instead. Now the difference here was, I mean, he had a big game by Carlos Hyde, but nobody else really had a good game. Joe Flacco had a better game. If he puts him in, he wins. If he put in, let's see who else did he have. Um, Oakland defense over Seattle, he wins. Same thing with Dick Michael Murray. A lot of points on the bench for Joe. Not a lot of points on the bench for Richard Mark. Besides Kenneth Dixon, maybe could have played him in the flex spot. But you know what? A win is a win. You take it any way you get it. Congratulations to Richard Mark. Now, on to the other matchup. Miguel versus Andrew. This is exactly how I thought it was going to happen. But, you know me, and usually I get a, a number wrong. I get a... I get to play wrong, and basically, when every time I pick Miguel, he loses, and every time I pick against Miguel, he wins. So this week, I did the whole switcheroo, and I picked Miguel to win, and Andrew won. Congratulations, Andrew. Uh, let's see, any points on the bench here? Big day by uh, Latavius Murray good, uh, and Frank Gore, two players that I traded away to these teams. Todd Gurley had a, a lucky touchdown in the end. Um, Deshaun Jackson had a nice game, but again, weak points. Ben Altisberger, 5.6. Um, you had Aaron Rodgers on your bench, but you ended up winning anyway, Andrew. So nice job. Tevin Coleman on your bench. 
Um, Ty Montgomery on your bench, which could have prepared you for the win, over to Devontae Freeman and what happened to him this week. A lot, a lot of disappointing matchups this week. But congratulations, Andrew, on the big win going into the semifinals. So now our championship matchups are, which is really, really the most important, our championship matchups, you got Geo versus Andrew and Alex versus Richard Mark, all going to be great, great matchups. But the one I'm really looking forward to is Alex versus Richard Mark. That is going to be a fantastic matchup. We'll go through that in a little bit. But to re-go over the consolation bracket. Uh, so George beat me. Like I said, he crushed me this week because I had a lot of players on my – well, actually, basically just one player on my bench that really played out, played really well. The rest of my lineup kind of stunk. Mike Evans very disappointed this week. Um, and same thing with my running backs, Ryan Matthews and uh, Devontae Booker, who's been absolutely horrible. I thought trading away – my team for CJ Anderson and Devontae Booker, I thought, hey, I got CJ, and if CJ gets hurt, I got Booker. Well, turns out Booker sucks. He's terrible. And then, of course, you got – so nice job, George. Good victory for you. And then you had the nice victory of Ed over uh, Ramazan, 69.32, 64 to, to 64.66. A whopping – those are actually the two lowest scores of the week. But nice job, Ed, for outlasting Ramazan. Once again, um, for the win, you had a big, big day by Chris Hogan, and that is what propelled you. That last touchdown pass from Brady to Hogan is what propelled you for the victory. And Ramazan, I mean, he had James White that night too, so that one big pass he had. But, hey, Matt Forte got hurt. Can't do anything about that. Terrence West stunk. Can't do anything about that. Uh, Melvin, but Melvin Gordon got hurt for Ed, so, I mean – you both got players that got injured, so that kind of washed out. And, you know, I mean, Carolina defense on the bench for Ed. Ramazan, you had Darren Foles on the bench. That would have propelled you for the win if you had him over Matt Forte. But you're not playing him over Matt Forte. You're not playing him over Terrence West. So you kind of had a good mat, get a good lineup for what you had in your team. But this wasn't enough to beat Ed. So congratulations to Ed. You move on. You're no longer the Toilet Bowl Trophy. So let's go on. Let's look at this week's matchups because what I'm going to hopefully do is and I have really haven't had a lot of time at work I'm a little busy but I want to look at um your not our final season MVPs I think I did that already if I didn't I'll do it again um our final season MVPs but I also want to look back at the year that was that was and see what trades were made and what how teams would have been if they didn't make the trades um all be all else being equal but I wanted to see how teams would have fared because I'm looking at myself and I would have had a team. Basically, it would have been the same exact team except my running back would have been Latavius Murray and Frank Gore. Um, so we'll see. I want to take a look and see how that would have been. It would be kind of cool to look back at. But we're going to go at uh, – we're looking at the championship bracket first. And we'll do uh, Geo 1 versus 4. We'll look at Geo versus Andrew. Now, Geo had a bye week last week, still scored the most points in the league. Projected a very high score uh, score this week of 100, almost 110 points to Andrew's 94.27. Um, looks like both lineups are kind of set to where they should be. Really isn't anybody else you guys are going to play on your bench. Maybe Malcolm Mitchell for you, Gio, but you got Tyree Kill against Tennessee. It's a good matchup. Now, with Jeremy Macklin back, we'll see if he continues to play well still. You got a combination of Le'Veon Bell, Jordan Howard, Des Bryant, Antonio Brown. Des Bryant was hit terrible last week. And Derek Carr coming back. Ten days rest. Should get that finger better. Not playing in 10-degree weather. Should be playing at San Diego. Going to be a nice hot day that day. Nice 62 um, in San Diego. God, I wish we were in San Diego with 62-degree weather. But look at the other side. You got Aaron Rodgers for Andrew. He's going to have a good matchup against Chicago. Golden Tate against the Giants. But I tell you what, I love my Giants defense, but Sometimes they really disappoint you, and I'm just ready for the giant disappointment this weekend coming up. So Golden Tate might be a sneaky play this week. Brandon Cooks at Arizona, tough matchup going against Patrick Peterson. Frank Gore at Minnesota, it's a tough matchup. Um, Doug Martin against Dallas, well, I mean, that should be a good matchup. Maybe Charles Sims gets a little more action, though, because maybe they'll be down too much, or maybe it's going to be a shootout. Um, Antonio Gates, every end of the year, goes down to dumps. Who knows what's going on with him? Tevin Coleman, you're putting in and going against San Francisco defense. That's a great, great matchup. 
Um, you put Tagel on your bench, which makes sense against Seattle. Put Brandon Marshall on your bench, which makes sense because of Bryce Patty. Listen, you got some tough matchups. Denver playing New England, you can't really go with them. I got to be honest, Andrew, you got a good team in the semifinals, finals, but Geo's team has just been absolutely crushing it lately. And even on a week where Des Bryant gets negative points, or at least close to zero, and Derek Carr gets, what, four or five points, he still put up at 108 points. But that's because Le'Veon Bell had like 50 something damn points. But, in fact, let's see how many points he had. He had 53.8, which is an absolutely ridiculous amount. Um, I got Geo for the win. Going on to the championship matchup, which he should be because he's got the best team so far in the league. But who will be playing Geo in the mat this match uh in the championship this week? Look at Alex versus Richard Mark. Both teams playing very, very well. Going into this actually Alex's team has kind of been on the downturn the last couple of weeks, but he had a good last week. Richard Mark been a little more upswing um going to the last couple of weeks. The matchups with Ryan Kelly. Carolina defense hasn't been Great all year, but it's been a little more consistent recently. We kind of got David Johnson against New Orleans. He should be dominant. Terrell Williams has got the shoulder injury. He'll be okay. Um, but let's see how he plays. T.Y. Hilton got a tough matchup against Minnesota. Winston, like I said, that's going to be a shootout. He should be good. He disappointed last week against New Orleans. He should be better at Dallas this week. Got to pick up a kicker, of course, but yeah, that's it is what it is. That's what you do. Not really anybody on your bench that I would recommend playing other than what you got, Kenneth Dixon. He's taking over for Terrence West. Um, it's a good lineup. You look at Alex's team. Drew B's at Arizona. That's tough. Sean McCoy gets Cleveland. That's not tough. It's not so tough. That's a good matchup. Theo regular pass catching back. Should be good out of the backfield. Devontae Adams gets Chicago. He's been really good lately. Solid. Devontae Adams. Mike Wallace against Philly. Philly's not good at on the road against uh, offenses. Listen, both you guys have really, really good teams, but I think the matchups just better suit Rich and Mark. And even though Alex, you had a bye, got you to the semifinals. I think Rich and Mark go into the go into the finals this year. And I think that's for that's right. They're going for their second championship in two in three years. So we're, they're trying to make it Matt, me, Rich and Mark, me, Rich and Mark. That'd be only three people to win the championship in five years. Guys, we got to beat that. Come on, Alex. I'm rooting for you, Alex. i got to be honest. got to be with all. I think who was playing Gio in the finals. And I think that's Rich and Mark. So congratulations to those two. You guys are moving on. We'll quickly, quickly go through. Let's look at the um, better than worst going against Forte, your old virgin, the semifinals here. Uh, Pack Freak and Joe doesn't really matter if that matchup stinks. If I'm looking just straight at it, look at this matchup. 96.82 to 96.75 off the bat. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens here. Good matchups. Just looking. Mike Thomas, watch out for him in New Orleans. Uh, Ramiro. Because listen, guys, you guys are playing for draft picks, so watch out for that. Rob Gronk, terrible. Jameson Crowder, what a bad week last week. He lost me in fantasy playoff game last week. Uh, you know what? I gotta go to my boy. I know that Tom Brady's playing at Denver, but I think Tom Brady's gonna come out and he's gonna want to dominate because of that loss last year at Denver. I got my boy George going into the consolation bracket finals and going for a draft pick. Congratulations, George. No doubt about it. And here we go to the last one. We got uh, Matt versus Ed. Now, can Ed go from winning the Toilet Bowl trophy last year to having a terrible last couple of weeks in the season, except for week 13? To now having a chance to play for a draft pick and a, an insanely important draft pick in a keeper league now, I tell you. Let's see here. Stafford against the Giants. Stafford's got a broken a broken finger, so watch out for that. Ed may want to pick up a quarterback. Yeah, you got Andy Dole on your bench, so that's not bad against Pittsburgh on the road. Pittsburgh on the road's not as good as they are at home. But Matt Ryan playing against San Fran for Matt. Matt's team played well last week, finally for the first time in a couple weeks. He's got Mark Ingram, who's terrible. Andrew Luckman against Minnesota. You don't want him. Hmm. I mean, i got to be honest, Matt. you got a couple tough matchups. I don't know who I would play here. You know what? Melvin Gordon's out. Who you got on your bench? Chris Irie. You know what? I think that's the key kicker right there. I think Melvin Gordon being out is just a really, really tough lo loss on your team to overcome. I think Matt is going to move on to play George in the draft pick. In the draft pick final right there. Next week, draft pick final. We got Matt versus George. 
regular championship. I got Rich and Mark versus Geo. Now let's get to the ultimate matchup of the week. And that is the matchup that consists of yours truly versus Ramazan in our toilet bowl championship. Loser gets a toilet bowl award next year at the uh, awards dinner, a.k.a. the draft. But... Let's look at this matchup here. Now, I got a couple tough matchups. You got Eli against Detroit. Detroit's a very good defense lately. Um, Devontae Booker is absolutely horrible, but I'm not going to pick up any other players this week because it is what it is. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. I'm not playing for a draft pick anymore. I'm just playing for a toilet bowl. But Bilal Powell, hey, if Matt Forte doesn't play against Minnesota Saturday night, against Miami Saturday night, you never know. Jordan Reed, I may not play him. I may play uh, Ladarius Green. Who knows? I'm definitely keeping Eli in there just because I love my boy Eli at home against Detroit. If they win, they're basically almost in the playoffs if they win. Now, the spread looks bad because Matt Forte is not playing. On your bench, who you got uh, Darren Foles is probably not going to play. He's got a concussion. So, Charkandrick West, hey, scored a touchdown last week. Hey, AP may even play. AP might play this week. Look at that. You can put AP in your starting lineup, Ramazan. Man. Let's see, who do I got? Anybody in my bench I want to play? Nah. And you know what? I'm calling. This is going to be the first time all year that I'm going to make a prediction on my matchup. And I'm predicting a victory, baby. That's right. I am predicting a victory this week in the Fantasy OG FFL Toilet Bowl Championship. I'm calling victory for myself and giving the worst team in the league that was the worst team all year. Even though he didn't finish in 12th in the regular season, I did. But he was the worst team in the year, consistently wise, always in the power ranking. So I Ramazan, it's just a tough year for you. It is what it is. It's not based on the owner. It's based on the team you had. But I always say, you're going to be a Toilet Bowl award winner this year with your last place finish in the tournament. So congratulations to everybody who moved on. Good luck this week in the semifinals. I'm hoping I can get um, I can do a little more research on the uh, the trade thing that I want to do. Go into your fantasy MVPs for the whole regular season, and um, that's it, fellas. Have a great weekend. Uh, have a great night. Have a great weekend. Remember Seattle versus St. Louis tomorrow night. And don't forget Jets Miami Saturday night. We have a Saturday night game this week. Good luck to everybody in the semifinals of the championship and the consolation bracket. And good luck, Ramazan, in the Toilet Bowl Trophy War uh, matchup against me. Have a great night. I'll see you guys soon.